Hey guys, what's going on today? I will be sharing with you a past training I hosted live and I will be doing this for the next two or three videos. So posting trainings that I've hosted before live that I have recordings of. And that's because I'm striving to get ahead in my business. Currently, I'm teaching a few certifications that have my time booked up. And I also seriously just want to dedicate myself to, for the next three weeks or so, staying ahead. Like, I really, really just desire to stay ahead, like, so bad. <laughs> so that not only can I deliver top content for you, but also enjoy the summer without being on a super stress or on a paycheck to paycheck kind of schedule with my time. So... I appreciate your understanding. You'll still enjoy these lessons. They're great. They're just a little bit more chatty and they go on for a little bit longer than my usual style of like 10 minutes, get you to the point kind of thing. But I figure, hey, we're a community now. We can chat it up a little bit. So I thought it'd be perfect to share these with you. So let's get to it. Hey there and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is paola of paolaponsanails.com and i help current and aspiring nail techs become thriving entrepreneurs by mastering all of her gel nail services using soft gel only if this sounds like a niche you'd like to consider exploring then at the end of this video do consider subscribing real quick before we get started with today's nail art tutorial a few happenings this past week katie masters better known as nail thoughts debuted her second collection of colors made by japanese gel nail brand Cocos. the new collection consists of 18 fabulous hyper pigmented colors from retro front vibes to an evening night out option the second collection surely complements katie's first collection of colors nail box color collection volume 2 is out now and quickly selling grab yours at cocoasusa.com and don't forget to use promo code ppn10 at checkout to save 10% off and if you're a fan of cocoa's japanese gel known products guess what group certification is open up in just a few weeks just like all of my other certifications i host this certification once per year so you want to sign up to the waitlist aka vip list down in the description box below to be in the know of all the details including perks for signing up available to only those in this vip list so don't miss out sign up all right time for you to enjoy today's nail art tutorial and today i'm going to be using a few of my favorite brands including leaf gel vetro and daily charm okie dokie so Assuming this nail has already been uh, overlaid or you know you did a manicure on it, so whether you've done just gel base or a full gel overlay on it, your next step, we're gonna assume that you've given your, your client, this is you or your client, and you've given them a thorough gel service, then you are going to move on to this nail art portion, which is all that I'm going to cover today. So for our beginners, I'm gonna start with foil transfer. And I am going to be doing the full nail. I'm going to do something different actually than what I'm wearing right now. Obviously still the abalone nail. But just different. I'm going to do a full thorough layer of the foil transfer gel by Daily Charm let that self level a tiny bit and this is definitely by far the best foil transfer gel the one from daily charm and here you go okay so i'm going to go ahead and cure this for a full 30 seconds meantime i'm going to show you what i used to create the abalone nail and that is this abalone foil transfer paper now this particular paper has like different tones like one's a little bit lighter one's a little bit more pronounced i'm gonna go for a bit more pronounced like this guy right there that looks really good so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this and for anyone joining us live if you dm me on instagram i'll send you enough of this transfer foil for you to do a set of nails so again if you want enough of this foil to do a set okay, without having to go hunt it down because quite frankly i don't remember where i got it from i think i got it from skyline beauty supply but i know that they do not sell their foils online so i can tell you where else to get it 
you could just obviously do a Google search for abalone transfer foil. See what you get. All right, so I've gone ahead and cured my foil transfer gel and I've done 30 seconds on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on here. You could do a layer underneath here, like if you wanted to do maybe like a light gray or something, you can. But this foil transfer gel is actually very good that it's going to get, if I do it right, it should get like 99% of it. But when I'm filming, I don't tend to be the most perfect person. So for that reason, like you can't mess it up. You can actually fix it, say if you didn't get a full transfer. All right, so now that I've done that, you wanna kind of not stretch it. This material is not stretchy but you do kind of want to hold it thought and hopefully okay there and now you want to start pressing this on all right again I told you when I'm recording I'm not the most perfect nail technician so I'm gonna take this slowly Hopefully I can peel it as much as possible in one step. And if anyone has questions throughout this process, just save them for the end, for the end of the recording. That way I don't miss it in the chat, whether you're on Facebook or Instagram. Sorry I'm taking too long here. I just really wanna get a full transfer. And I am being successful, so. I take my apology back. <laughs> okay. All right. So almost, almost. And again, if you mess this up, like if for some reason your your full foil did not transfer, it's totally okay. You can. I'm gonna show you ways that you can actually fill in some gaps. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it now. And there we have it. Pretty, pretty full coverage to me. That's probably better than I did on my own nails. Okay, so now what do we do? So here you can uh, go ahead and seal it if you like. I'm actually going to do a couple things to this thing before we seal it and finalize it. I'm gonna take Vetro New Boss Black and Boss Black is super black. It is like archival ink. If you had like a pen, you can probably write with it. It's that bold, it's that, it's that you know, full coverage. So I'm gonna take some of this and I'm just gonna lay this here. Hopefully I don't get my case dirty. And do my liner L to outline just some details okay some really quick details on this abalone now the foil is great because you get to get most of the design but frankly I mean you can totally go ahead and just add a little more to it why not so that you can bring some dimension to it Just like so. And you don't have to do all of the lines, for example, here. Maybe, again, that's why if you missed a little bit of gel pieces, it's no big deal because you can come with the um, liner and just adjust it. So isn't this black super, super pigmented? Depending on the brush that you're using, you can create like super thin, fine lines. And again, I'm not gonna go crazy on creating a whole bunch of like black lines, but just enough to kind of bring some details on. You're kind of just tracing the foil paper. Now, I did not do this on my own nails because there was no way 
I could do such thing on myself, which is why I wanted to do a variation of my design, which is on my thumbnail there, doing this stuff. Okay, so here, again, just tracing some black details of the abalone now. And I'm gonna stop their ads, I wanna get to gray. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my tiara. And go ahead and cure this. Your next step is to go ahead and seal this design. So how are you gonna seal it? You can seal it with any soft gel builder because we are using soft gel. As you may already know, that is my specialty. So I wouldn't use hard gel. I would use soft gel. So you need a soft gel builder. There is such thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Daily Charms Strengthening Gel, which is their um, sort of soak off builder in a bottle to go ahead and seal this design. And the reason why I wanna seal it obviously is because there's little bumps and things that I need to buff off a little bit. I need to taper it into perfection. And also, I just obviously want my design to last a very long time. Just why I'm doing this. So just start with a thin coat. And grab a little bit more, like a pearl or a bead. A dollop. And then just kind of place it in the center to self-level the rest of the nail. Okay. Here we go, like this. Alrighty, now we are gonna go ahead and turn this nail over like this to give it some body so that it can self-level. Once I'm happy with the self-leveling, I am going to go ahead and cure this nail. Now you notice with the soft gel builder, I did not have to do too much. I did not have to apply too much builder so that it's super thick, not at all, which is one of the reasons why I like working with soft gel product because even when it's builder, it's still, relatively speaking, very thin. Okie dokes, so that's curing. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. I believe it's for 30 seconds. Mm, t -t 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 yep, 30 seconds. And when that comes out, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to just grab a wet nap so that it doesn't get too dusty in here. And okay, so my nail's ready. And then the last step after I kind of whip this into perfection here, you'll really, really like. It's super cool. All right, so how do I taper this into shape? Does not need a lot of work, so please, please save the elbow grease. You don't need it for this final step. So you'll need a sponge buffer. I'm gonna go ahead and use this 100, 180 grit. And you'll also need a board file or something firm like this diamond file. I'm not gonna wipe the tacky residue just quite yet until I just taper up the edges a little bit before I do my my buffer and wipe that tacky residue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the tacky residue now that I've tapered up the edges. And I actually don't see anything sticking up, so I'm gonna skip the buffer and you can totally, totally like skip it. You don't have to do it. There's really nothing to taper. I'm looking at it and it just looks Perfect. You actually could just give it a little buff because gel doesn't stick typically on a um, on a shiny surface. So for that reason, I'm just gonna give it a little buff. Nothing much. I'm like barely even touching it. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my dust again with alcohol solution. And now that I've done that, I'm going to get a little extra again. And I'm going to use this this like new found favorite here. It's the Vetro 976 Meta Silver. And it's literally like foil onto the nail. Now for this step, you want to use the border brush. 
because it's not quite a liner. You see, it's a little, it's a little wider than a liner. Not a little, it's like three times wider. And you can totally use a liner, but uh, I want my border to be a little thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy. Okay, so just product on one side of the brush. And I think you'll like this here. And then I'm just gonna start from the corner, like that. Literally like I'm drawing foil material onto the snow. And you'll be able to see it more with Art Top Coat. Okay, and I think I'm just gonna do a cuff. I think you guys, some of you might know my style, which is striping tape, cuffs, and what, what do I like, foils. I just find that these are easy, easy and they make an impact. So you see how like the material is kind of like foil. I don't want to get too thick. There, but I just want like a nice little cuff. You can totally go around with the same thickness or maybe grab a liner brush. But again, I am just going for the cuff. Isn't that pretty cool? I mean, it's so thin too, and it's like super pigmented. Literally looks like I just painted like silver foil onto the nail. And so I'm just gonna adjust the cuff here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds. Now I get a lot of questions about top coat because I wanna keep things thin. I've already added a lot. I'm just going to do non-white. Top coat. So I'm curing that. Meantime, I'll go ahead and clean my brush. Especially from this one, this material might get stuck to my brush, so I don't want it to do that. Now, if you want it to get super extra fancy, one last little detail you could do, totally optional, is to take your liner brush again and just add a little bit of this stuff around here somewhere. Wouldn't that be super cool? Just for like extra dimension. I know, super extra, but sometimes it's okay. And you, I mean, you can paint like the finest foil lines with this liner, by the way, as you can probably see here. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it another full cure. Just a little 20 seconds. Again, that amazing color was 976 by Vetro. It's called Meta Silver. And it's basically like you're painting foil onto the nail. It's super, super cool. I know that um, Nail Partner, a long time ago, if you guys are familiar with that Japanese gel nail company, I know that Nail Partner uh, released something similar and they like shortly after discontinued it. It was a hit, it was like a limited edition. So if you're looking for that kind of silver paint, you see, this is the one. And I believe there's a gold one too. All right, so because this already has plenty of layers and it's already smooth, I don't need to self-level anything. I'm just gonna move on to my non-white top coat here. Super shiny. Let this guy rest there. And there we go. Again, if you're just joining us, if you just kind of missed all the action, uh, I will save a recording of this tutorial and it'll go inside our private Facebook group, the Gel Boss Network. So make sure you request to join if you want to catch the recording to the abalone 
tutorial that we just did. Super fantastic. It looks something like this. So here is our final product. This is the nail. This is our abalone shell nail. Very easy, super dimensional. Um, and it doesn't take much really, just the right products. Thank you so much for joining me today. I post videos like this one weekly, so make sure you're subscribed to this channel and our weekly newsletter to be the first to know when our next video posts. Stick around for the next video and then don't forget to check the description box below for that Cocoa certification waitlist as well as other free resources and promo codes. I'll see you next week and bye for now.